Hello Bex Flavor family, welcome back to the channel. I hope that you are doing well. If this is your first time here, I'd like to give you a very warm welcome. Please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. So today I have for you fried turkey crown. Yes, if you are like me and you don't like the traditional way of making turkey, then this recipe is for you. Or you just want to try something else, then definitely watch this video and find out how I make this delicious turkey tail style turkey. Now, to start this recipe off, I am going to use a very small turkey crown for the purpose of this video. I didn't want to buy a big turkey, but if you are going to buy a big turkey for Christmas, then this is for you, okay? Here are all the ingredients that I will be using. I will list everything in the description box below. So don't go anywhere and find out how I make this turkey tail style turkey crown yes don't go anywhere to start off i am going to wash and clean my turkey this is quite a small turkey so it is very easy to clean and to be fair it wasn't that dirty as well so the turkey crown doesn't come with the legs and the thighs and the wings it just comes with like the breast a bit so if that's what you're going for then go for it if you want to buy the whole turkey then also go for it but for the purpose of this video this turkey crown worked perfectly I'm just going to go ahead and wash this making sure that everything is clean before I start my cooking and I will also wash this with vinegar just to ensure that it is thoroughly cleaned So after I have cleaned my turkey, I am going to cut them into smaller pieces because I'm going to fry it in the turkey tail style or chuffy if you know this in nice sizes so when you pick one up it is nice to eat and like I said before I don't really like turkey that much so I try to make it smaller so that all the seasoning gets into the meat and I can eat this and enjoy it. If you're like me and you don't really like turkey comment below and let me know so I'm going to cut this into nice smaller sizes you can cut this in any size that you want it is totally fine also you can do this thing with chicken if you prefer it will taste as good now that i have my preferred sizes of my turkey i am going to now cook it a little bit before i fry it and in here i have got some scotch bonnet onion ginger garlic and a small bell pepper Then I'm just going to go ahead and season this up nicely. You can use any kind of seasoning that you want. I will list all the seasoning that I use in the description box below. And yes, I am using some all spice or mixed spice. Just use a little bit if you are going to use this because it's quite strong. But a little goes a long way and it gives your turkey a very nice flavor. Then also some cubes as well. I will list everything in the description box below. But also feel free to add or remove any seasoning that you don't like or that you do like. Then I will mix everything up, making sure that all the seasoning is in the right place. I want this to be very nicely seasoned so that all the seasoning enters into the turkey. So when I finish frying it, it is going to taste amazing. So I cooked my turkey for about 20 minutes as I did not want to thoroughly cook it all through. Otherwise, when you fry it, it's just going to be too hard and too tough. So cook it just enough 
and then take it off the fire and get ready to fry when you remove your turkey out of the stock please do not throw the stock away as we are going to be using this to make the nice sauce to go over the turkey also you can use the rest to make jollof rice or stew or anything of your choice so don't throw that away now in a medium heated oil i am going to put in my turkey i said medium because if you let your oil get too hot mind you there is still liquid on the meat it is just going to splatter and you might just get yourself burnt we are in the festive season please don't burn yourself okay you want to enjoy your food with no pain so just make sure that it's not too hot while you drop it in and fry this until it's nice and golden brown like so look at that so amazing you have to try this okay then i'm just gonna go ahead and remove the turkey out of the oil because i don't want it to get too crunchy or too hard Using the same oil I fried the turkey in, I am going to be making a small sauce to coat the turkey in. And I'm using tomato paste, just a little bit, and I'm going to fry this for about 10 minutes until it's fully cooked. Then after 10 minutes, the oil will form on top like this. That's when you know that it is fully cooked. And then I am going to be adding some chili flakes. So if you know turkey tail or chuffy, you know that there is always chili flakes. And that's exactly what I am doing. Add as much or as little as you want. Then I am going to now add the liquid, yes the lovely stock that I just had from the turkey. I am going to add just enough to make my sauce a bit runny so that I can add this onto my turkey. So the liquid that you're going to use simply depends on how much turkey that you have. Add as much stock as you want until you reach the desired thickness that you want but please make sure that you don't add too much otherwise it will get too runny. You still want to maintain the thickness of a sauce. I tasted the sauce for salt and I decided to add some all-purpose seasoning just to flavour it up. So taste your sauce and decide on what kind of seasoning that you want to add and go ahead and add this to make your sauce flavourful. And now my sauce is ready and I'm going to go ahead and coat my turkey all in this lovely sauce i can't wait i am now gradually going to add my sauce onto the turkey i don't want to drench the turkey in too much sauce so i'm just going to add a little bit enough to moisten it up but yet taste the crunchiness of the turkey but if you want more sauce on your turkey by all means go ahead and do so if you made it this far in the video please give your girl a thumbs up 
comment below and let me know if you'll be trying this recipe out this festive season it is so simple you can make it ahead of time and in the evening time at christmas when everybody is tired and sitting around and chilling you can have some fried yam some fried plantain or simply just enjoy it by itself with some lovely drinks okay you need to give this recipe a try it's too good not to do so and if you don't like the normal traditional way of making turkey this recipe is definitely for you please go ahead and do subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel and press the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos i'll see you in my next video take care of yourself bye